Hello, my name is Russell with the Piano Outlet, and today I'd like to show you a little bit about Yamaha's different models that they have in their piano lineup. Behind me you'll see a variety of pianos, and what I really want to illustrate today is talk about the Yamaha G2. Okay, the G2 is a 5'7", it was produced by Yamaha uh, actually until about the early 1990s where they changed the model designation to C2. We'll talk a little bit about that. One of the things I wanted to show you first was one of the earlier model G2s that we have is a, this particular piano here, which is a 1974. When the piano came in, the soundboard was very dirty. It had a varnish finish on it, which that varnish finish tends to turn very dark through the years. So we cleaned that off and we sanded the soundboard down. We gave it a nice clear coat and uh, put a brand new set of strings in it. And one thing we were able to do when we take the strings out of the piano is really clean it, detail the inside, shine up all the brass, polished duplexes, every bolt comes out, that gets clean. One of the things I wanted to show you about the earlier Yamahas <coughs> are these screws that they put in to hold the plate down. This, incidentally, this is called the plate. Underneath the plate is the soundboard. And if you see, these are very, very large wood screws. And through the years, they tend to get, get a little rusty being inside the wood. And, you know, it's uh, pretty hard to take them out. One of the things that Yamaha did in the early 1990s, they improved that design to a machine screw with a hexagon bolt head. And you'll see all of these on the perimeter of the plates on all the current model Yamahas. Right next to this model, I have a 1983, 1984 Yamaha G2. Uh, totally different piano than the 1974. This has a wood veneer on the inside, which is what they use today. And uh, basically uh, the same design with regard to the to the screws. As you'll see here, these screws we haven't taken out yet. This particular piano will not get restrung because it's in very, very good original condition. So what we do with a piano like this is basically just the detailing. We'll take the screws out one by one, polish them up, put them back in, and it'll look like it's new again. If I were to pull this action out, you'll see this particular piano has had very, very little wear and tear at all. The hammers are in perfect condition. And this piano actually right now is on eBay. Right next to it, is the current version of the Model G2, and actually it's called the C2, because in the early 1990s, what happened is that Yamaha decided to improve upon the piano, they made it an inch longer, and they added these hexagon bolts, which are machine screws, which go into, I guess, a nut on the other end, on, underneath, or I don't really know what they call it, but you don't have a wood screw that you have to deal with, and it's a lot easier to take these screws out and remove the plate on these newer pianos. And one thing you'll also notice about this current version model G2, which is called the C2 now, is the addition of duplex scale, because they didn't have this in the early versions during the 80s. I don't know why, but they didn't have it. And personally, uh, some people will tell you that it really doesn't make that much of a difference. But, you know, if you're going to buy a piano, you might as well have the newest and the best you can. Anyway, uh, when you look at the current version G2, I realized that in 1993 or 1994, they just renamed this piano a C2. And some people will say, well, the C2 is better than the G2. Well, that would be true if you were comparing a C2 to an earlier version G2. But in the early 1990s, when they redesigned this, this is exactly the same as a C2. One of the things that you can see is on the inside, the plate has the addition of an extra brace. Not only does it have an extra brace, but the brace is bellied at the bottom giving it more rigidity, which makes the piano st stay in tune better. If you look at the earlier version G2s here, they're missing the brace, and they don't have that extra rigidity on the bottom. So what we're going to do is now we're going to compare this C2 to this C3. And you see it's very similar. It has the extra brace in here, the belly at the bottom, has the duplex scale, and it has the machine bolts that hold the plate down. So that's why <coughs> I would say that the G2 that I just showed you from 1990 is a lot more similar to almost a brand new C3 than it is to any other G2 made previous. Now, right next to this G2 is a, is a similar age G1, which also has the extra brace in here, the belly at the bottom, machine screws, and I would tell you that this piano, although it says G1, it's actually the same piano as the C1. The other thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was the action. <coughs> Somebody 
told me that, well, in different pianos, they have different actions. Well, that's not true, because over here, this particular piano, this is a 2006 Yamaha C3 action. And uh, you can see how nice and fresh and new it is. All the screws are nice and bright and shiny. And you'll see this is called a whippin. This is what actually makes the hammer go up and down and hit the string. This is your action, okay? Next to it, I have a C3 action from about 1985, 1986. You'll see it's the same exact action. Same whippings here, same mechanism. They almost look identical, but you would not be able to switch them out and put this action in that piano or that action. You can't do that uh, because it just won't work. But the main thing is, is that the whippings all the same. Next to it, I have an older one. This is the action out of a Yamaha G5. And you'll see the wood's a little darker because it's aged a little bit more. You don't have as shiny as screws over here because, again, this piano is probably about a 1975. But again, 1975 whipping on a G series, the same exact whipping that they use today on a 2012 brand new C3. And they really haven't ha had any changes in design really since the late 1970s. So I hope some of this that I gave you today, as far as information is concerned, is, is informative and that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to call me anytime. Thank you.